Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. And in today's video, I wanted to show you my updated workflow that I have been experimenting with lately. So inside this workflow, I use both Cloud Code as well as Cursor. But uh, if you are, you know, okay with using either Cloud Code or either Cursor, that is also fine. It's just that, uh, you know, I love experimenting with these AI tools and I love to see them working together. And that is why I have been experimenting with this workflow and I thought that I should definitely share it with you guys. So what this workflow does is it is going to give you a team of AI agents. So your main coder is going to be Cloud Code because it is like the smartest coding agent out there according to me. And then you are going to wind up multiple AI agents inside Cursor using the background feature, you know, the background agents feature, which is this one. And what it will do is your main coding would be done inside Cloud Code. And while that coding is working, you know, while that agent is doing its work on the background, we will set up some multiple AI agents as well, which will do some small work for us. So let's say polishing the UI, doing some kind of research for us, etc. So it's like at the same time when your main coding agent that is Cloud Code is doing its work at the same time, you can wind up, you know, a few more agents and do some work parallelly. So this workflow is great, but you have to be really careful while, you know, experimenting with this. So feel free to experiment with it on your personal projects first. And later on, if you want, you can use this on your, you know, main projects as well but just be beware while doing this because some things can go wrong when you are doing it but if you do it right then this could be one of the strongest workflow out there and as AI agents get better and better you know with time then this workflow in the future is going to be like insane and it is going to make your entire workflow so much more productive so yes let's dive into it and let me open up cloud code okay so as you guys know I'll just click on new terminal and inside this terminal I'll call cloud okay so we have cloud code initialized inside our cursor and as you can see I have created this folder called to-do list so I was thinking that let's build a simple web app only because a lot of you guys you know DM'd me last time that uh, having a video uh, where I walk you through building a web app works uh, much better as compared to me just telling the tips with you and if you don't know what I'm talking about this is the video that we did last week this is Cloud Code everything you need to know and inside this you will you know understand everything that you need to know around Cloud Code so that you could decide whether you want to proceed with it or not also so last time I used Loom and there has been some issues with Loom where there was a, you know, there was not a sync between my voice and my video. So sorry for that. But finally, I switched back to Tela, my original video software. And this time this won't be a problem anymore. But inside this video also just go through it and just don't pay attention on my expressions or my lip sync because that is a little off sync, you know, from the video. So yeah, uh, let's dive into it. So yeah, guys, so let us prompt, uh, you know, Cloud Code to start working on to-do list. So this is the prompt that I created. So as you can see, I want to build a simple AI powered to-do list web application using React. It should have an input field to add new tasks and a list to display tasks. Each task should have a checkbox to mark it as complete and a delete button. Use local storage to persist the task and make the design clean and modern. So this is a simple first prompt that I'm going to give, you know, a Cloud Code. And this is going to be your first prompt and this could be some complex application. But for this video, I'm going to keep it simple. So let me just click on enter and Cloud Code would get to work. Now in the meantime, while Cloud Code is doing its work, you know, developing our entire project. At the same time, we will go ahead and wind up our AI agents. So you could use these AI agents to, you know, maybe add some design onto a project, do some marketing research for you, etc. So I'll show you that. But before we do that, I wanted to, you know, remind you guys that uh, like I prompted Cloud Code right now, right? But always start inside the plan mode. And for entering plan mode, you have to click on shift to enter. And I have shown that in the previous video. So please keep that in mind. I totally forgot to do that right now, but it's fine because it's just a simple application. But no matter what you are building, you have to switch to plan mode in the beginning, review the plan that Cloud Code gives you and only then gives give it the, you know, the green flag to proceed forward. So yeah, please keep this in mind. So yeah, let's, I will just let Cloud Code do its thing. Also, it is asking for a prompt from me. I'll click on yes and it should be good to go. Now, while Cloud Code is doing all of this, I wanted to show you how you can, you know, wind up these AI agents. And at the same time, I'll also keep on, you know, saying okay to whatever prompt you know, Cloud Code is giving me. And if you click on this cloud button, then you will be able to see this thing pop up. And this is the place from where you can wind up a background agent. If you're not able to see it, then in that case, just go into settings and click and you'll have to search for background agent. I don't exactly remember where it is. But yeah, if you click on it, you will be able to see background agent. And from here, you can enable it. In order to enable it, you will have to disable a privacy mode, but that is fine. You know, I don't really care about it. So it's fine. You know, me dis 
disabling the privacy mode but also keep in mind that you always have to initialize you know github whenever you are using background agents so keep that in mind uh, i'll also just do that for you guys and you also have to initialize github so let me walk you through the steps uh, which you have to take in order to initialize github so yes guys i am inside github so as you can see i have already created a new repository let's name it ai to do list and it is available here you can put in the description and let me switch it to private and then i'll click on create repository so yeah, once that is done you will land on this page and then you can just copy this you know or create a new repository on the command line copy this go to cursor open a new terminal and here you can just paste it and this will take care of you know pushing everything to your github one second hey guys so yeah there was a little credentials mismatch so i was able to fix it for github also if you don't want to do those steps you can just you know go inside cloud code only and you can ask it to you know push your code to that particular repository you can just take the link from here and you can then paste it here and it will do all of the steps for you i don't even have to write any of the terminal commands i still remember back in the day you know we used to again and again google the commands and then try to figure out that how to get github working because github used to be like really complex at least for me because i could never like you, you know remember all of the commands so yeah that is out of the way also cloud code just before i did this it also prompted me that it was able to complete the to do list and that now i can run the application so let me try running the application let's see if it was able to set it up where is it okay okay so as you can see it is now working so okay it's okay it's not really good looking but let me try if it is working hello uh, okay take page out okay not bad for a single prompt so as you can see we have to do list here if i click on this it is also checking the items off and i can also delete the item okay so that's great also one thing actually while cloud code was you know doing its magic that was the time when i was supposed to show you how to you know run up multiple ai agents that was the entire point but because i got busy with all of this github stuff and etc that is why i could not show you but still let me show you how exactly you can do it so let's say cloud code is running the code for you okay it is doing its thing then what you can do is you just have to you know click on this cloud icon and from here you can wind up your ai agent so let's say i want to add something feature to this while cloud code is working on the project so this is the feature that i want to add i need you to enhance the to do list when a new task is added analyze its text and suggest a category example work personal errands shopping or a priority it could be high medium low add a small ui element next to each task to display the suggestion and allow the user to manually change change it and now i am asking you to implement this okay and it is going to work on the background like i said because this is an ai agent which would be working on the background also like i have said before whenever you are experimenting with background agents keep in mind that that you are running them in your different branch because they run in yolo mode and things could go wrong but uh, yeah as this is just a walk through video a demo so i'll just run it here and let me click on enter so yes guys as you can see our ai agent is running in the background it is enhancing our to do list now let me give it some you know ui tweak so that it could go ahead with it and let me click this as well it will also proceed and it will start running in the background as you can see now let me give it another agent so let's say i want to review the secure and i am almost done with the code base so i can run another ai agent and i can do something like this and i can click on enter and then you will be able to see that this ai agent is also now running on the background and all of these are running together in the background while your cloud code would be working on the main feature so this is a great way of you know experimenting with it and having very high productivity you could also ask one of the agent to maybe help you with the marketing plan or maybe act as a ceo and give you the features that you should implement next you know in order to make your to-do list even better but something that i also want to recommend you guys is as we all have seen while we are using and you know cloud code or let's say cursor and it is doing its job then a lot of times we just end up wasting a lot of time and that is why as you guys remember in the launch your first ai mvp series i have shown you the entire plan phase right and inside that plan phase we started a chat gpt conversation so whenever you are start starting to work on a project that is a place where you have to be right so that is a place where you create all of a technical documentation you ask your questions so whenever you are done you know prompting cloud code and it is doing its job in the background all of your ai agent agents are running in the background that is the time you go to chat gpt to that same conversation and you keep on asking questions with it you could either you know ask it for tweets that you could be posting in order to build it in public or you could be you know asking it for the next set of features that you should implement in order to make this product a even a bigger success etc so that is going to be my another tip and that could be an another 
another AI agent that you could be using, you know, while everything is happening. And every time whenever you are coding, instead of just using your phone or scrolling on Twitter, that is something that you can do. And that conversation can literally act as a CEO. So if you guys say that you don't have enough time to do all of this stuff, Claude Code and Cursor are literally building the entire application out for you. And if you just take that time into chat GPT and use it to its fullest potential, then you could literally be building, you know, something big. So yes, two of our agents were done doing their work. So if you click on that agent and you will be able to see that it was able to, you know, implement everything. And then you have to, you know, you can either create a pull request or you could, you know, apply the changes locally. So just click on apply the changes locally. And let's say if it is working fine. Okay, so this is my tutorial. Let me refresh it once. Hello, let me. Okay, so as you can see, we have this cool animation here and it was done by our agent in the background. Take out it. And it is looking pretty, pretty cool. Okay, we also have this slick, you know, we also have this cool animation of it striking it off. Let's click on delete. It is also deleting it in a smoother manner. So yes, all of our animations has been implemented successfully. Let us review other stuff. So let's say we go to the, you know, the secure local storage review thing. Okay, so this is the prompt that I gave our background agent, right? Please review the entire code base for our AI to do list, especially how local storage is handled. Ensure it follows security best practices for front end application. Okay, so it just went ahead with everything and it did all of the stuff. And as you can see, it is also giving us current vulnerabilities, etc. Once you are happy with it, once you have reviewed it, let's click on apply changes locally and it should be good to go. It would just go ahead and import the entire code. And the final thing is enhanced to do list with task categorization and prioritization. It is also done. Let me apply these changes locally as well. So yeah, guys, as you can see, all of our background agents have completed and let's see if it was able to do a good job or not. And this I could also see that we have the secure.md file created by it. So maybe when I asked it to do a security review, you, it created this .md file and I also, you know, went through the code and I realized that it was using this as reference throughout the entire code base in order to, you know, fix the issues, etc. So yes, as you can see, it is pretty, pretty smart. Okay, so let us go to the tutorial list and let me try it out once. Okay, so this is the AI tutorial list. So let me click on buy groceries. Okay, great. It is able to give it a shopping and also medium. Okay, let me click meeting with the client. Okay, great. It was able to understand that this is a work task. Uh, let's say schedule content. Content. Let's see what happens then. Okay, it is, it knows that it is my work. So as you can see, uh, this is working fine. <laughs> Not the prettiest to-do list out there, but still getting the work done. And if I if I would have had more time, I would have definitely integrated AI into it. But I think you understand what I mean. So TLDR. So just to summarize everything, you have to give all of your main features to Claude Code because it is really smart. And while it is doing its job, you know, and it is going to take like 10 to 15 minutes if you are giving it a complex feature. At that time, you can just you know bring up these background agents and you can ask you to do some small stuff for you. So let's say secure security check, animating something, enhancing the to do list with a small feature, etc. And you have to delegate all of these tasks to these background agents. So just like in a company, the senior developer does the majority of the development and then these junior developers are given some other tasks. Similarly, you have to do stuff like this. And if you are able to master this workflow and if you are able to implement it properly, then the productivity boost that you are going to get is like insane. Because because by the time Claude Code would have implemented my to-do list, these three agents would have, you know, done all of these tasks that I gave it to them. So yeah, be careful while you are using it because this could lead to some chaos, but definitely try it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And like I said before, if you want to stick to a single tool, that is totally fine. I just love this workflow and I thought why not share it with you guys. So yes, pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.